Hey everyone, it's Bonnie. I am back with another of the Land of Sweets candle reviews here. Right now I'm burning the Elf Village Crushed Candy Cane. And I've been burning this one in my small room, the library, 160 square feet. And first up, I have to say the wax pull on this one is absolutely perfect. Sometimes you get like an absolutely perfect wax pull and this happens to be one of those times. I'm just going to blow this one out the traditional way here real quick. Just to get this. Um, the wicks are a little bit thick on these. So you get a little bit of that mushrooming. But if you trim the wick off, then it'll be fine. I probably need a snuffer. <laughs> but anyway, um, I wanted to blow it out so that I could show you this gorgeous deep red wax. It's like the perfect Christmas color. It's gorgeous red. Um, see if I smell it like this. I smell this more, strangely enough, now that I've blown this out. I'm wondering if this would make a really good melt. So, here's the story on crushed candy cane. The notes in this one are crushed peppermint, cr I'm sorry, crunchy peppermint, um, white sugar crystals, and frosted mint leaf. Now, in terms of mint, because I know a lot of people love mint. Hey, Mom, can you hand me that mint? Oh, that's actually mint chocolate. I'm trying to think if I have any more Bath & Body Works mint ones here. We've got the peppermint marshmallow. I just wanted to do a comparison for you guys um, so you could kind of tell. So peppermint marshmallow is a creamy mint. It's like that Andes mint. I actually made um, <laughs> those uh, melts from this one. This is a creamy mint. Crushed candy cane is more of a sugary mint. However, the throw on this one is not very strong to me. I would say it's pretty light. Um, it smells like the Brock's red and white hard candy peppermints taste. Um, I really wish this one was stronger because it's gorgeous. I love it. Um, it's not bad. It would probably be okay if you had it burning in like a small room, like a bathroom, but it just is not giving off um, a lot of scent. It's strange. Like I said, I actually smell it a little bit better now that I blew it out. Like I'm smelling that nice mint smell. When it was burning, it just, it, it would fill the, like the immediate area, but it wasn't going very far. <laughs> so, um, if you're looking for a really strong throwing mint candle, I'm not sure this one is, um, the strongest. However, I do like it. I mean, how can you not like this? Look at the lid. <laughs> it's so pretty. I just love the dripping frosting. And um, I just love the look of this one. This one is definitely going to go in my living room because I have that red and white theme going on. So like I said, it's gorgeous. I will probably pick up another set of these during candle day because I want an unburned one in my collection. I do collect a few candles um, from Bath & Body Works that I don't burn that I just like to keep. Um, and I think these might be that collection, just because I love this collection so much. So let me know what you think about the throw on this crushed candy cane, if yours is a little bit stronger. Honestly, like, I don't know if you guys do this, but sometimes, like, I don't burn candles. I will just use them, like, for aromatherapy. Like, sometimes, like, um, Tis the Seasons one that I really, really love a lot. And I have this one sitting on my desk. And a lot of times I'll just pick it up, like if I'm stressed out for work, <laughs> I just pick it up and I smell it cold and it makes me feel like a lot better. I don't know. It's just an aromatherapy thing. Um, so I do like candles both burning and cold. I don't know if anyone else does that. Let me know below if I'm the only one. <laughs> but anyway, I think this is going to be one of those candles that I might just kind of pick up and enjoy cold because I love peppermint so much. So anyway, that is Elf Village. Um, I'm going to try, like I said, I, I might burn, I don't know, like I said, I might do the ski lodge one later. I want to see what hot cocoa and cream the throws like on that one. So thank you for watching. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.